Hello and th thank you for joining me today on Live With A Purpose. Hi, here I am. Picky Boo. The children have those little games where they hide from their parents or each other. And it's fun time. It's fun to hide behind the couch, to run around the house, to get under the table, behind a chair, behind other people. It's a fun game, right? Hide and go seek. When we get older, we don't need to hide. We're not children. We're adults. We have things to do. We're busy. We take things more seriously because we don't want to look foolish foolish and silly. In the Bible, we have all these commands to go into the world, to take God's message of love uh, all the way from the Old Testament into the New Testament, to just let people know who God is, of his goodness, of his grace, of his kindness, to take the message of hope, but also sometimes to take the message of warning and uh of exhortation, that is to call people out. We have this passage today. That's a well-known passage uh, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 6. And from verse 1 to verse 8, it says the following, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings, with two wings, they would cover their faces. With two, they cover their feet. And with two, they were flying. And they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried. I am ruined. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. And my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. With it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here am I. Send me. It's almost like the hide-and-go-seek game. You know, God is, is kind of like a parent with their kids. Where are you? And Isaiah says, Hi, I'm here. Call me. I'm available. Which was the point of the whole thing. Why did Isaiah want to be sent? He saw... The Lord high and lifted up, so he describes him as the Almighty, the Lord of hosts, the God all powerful. But we don't really get the sense of who God is until the Lord impresses himself upon us, till he makes himself known in a certain way sometimes. And we really can't describe the rest of it. He just says, The whole earth is filled with his glory. Being in God's presence changes us and removes all the busyness all of the excuses, uh, I'm not ready, what am I going to do, what am I going to wear, who's going to believe me, I'm going to look foolish. God simply brought him into his presence in this vision, and that's all he needed. And as soon as he does, he says, I, I'm, I'm not good enough, I, I can't even be here, I shouldn't be here, why, why am I even here? And the seraphim, sort of like an angelic figure, touches his lips with this coal from the altar in this vision. He cleanses him. You're ready to go. Isaiah then says, here am I. Hi. Hi. What about me? Hello. Send me, Lord. If you can use me, send me. He didn't ask for what the message was. If you keep reading, it's a tough message. I wouldn't want that message. But he just wanted to do God's will, he got rid of all the excuses and whatever else he thought people might think of him and whether he was ready or not, whether he still needed to plan more, push things out into the future for some time to do the Lord's will because, you know, there's work and there's family, and there's other things. He simply said, send me. What about me, Lord? I want you to think about that today. To 
ask the Lord to send you. You probably don't have to go very far because you're there already. What he was really saying, Lord, can you use me? If you can use me, use me. Just use me, Lord. What do you need? He didn't ask, wait a minute, what's the message? What's the task? What do you want me to do? He simply said, send me. I'm available. I'm ready. I'll do what you need. And God bless them. Thank you for joining me today on Live With a Purpose.